And we're back. My name's Mark Vince, and I hope you're excited as I am for another Blue Wilderness adventure. On this dive, Mario and I will be trying something a little bit different. Today we're going to challenge ourselves to see just how many creatures we can spot on a single dive. Sure, some of our adventures require multiple dives and even days to get the footage we're after. But one thing that draws me to the ocean is just how much can be seen each and every time we're underwater. In many ways, the core of ocean exploration is the infinite potential to witness the unexpected. And today, my goal is to show you just what I mean by that. Right now, we're off the coast of Bimini at a dive site called the El Dorado Shoal. We only have one take, Mario, so we gotta make this count. You ready? I'm ready. Let's All right, go. let's get in the water and see what we can find. All right. Okay, that's better. Wow, the water is really clear today. Okay, let's go see what we can find first. Let's check over here. I already see some reef fish. And nice, there's a, wow! That is a queen angelfish. Definitely a standout of the crowd species. And look how colorful it is. All right, moving on. Okay, yeah, here we go. That is a spiny lobster, and two of them. Now they don't have claws like true lobsters, but get this, they can navigate at night using the Earth's magnetic field like a compass. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. All right, let's cover some more ground. Hey Mario, let's head this way. Oh, okay, got our first shark here. That's a nurse shark, which are usually non-aggressive. So let's see how close we can get. Come on, come on back. Sometimes I feel like if I put out a positive vibe for an animal to approach, it tends to happen. Well, that's it, I guess. First shark in the books, anyway. So this whole area is surrounded by these crater-like depressions lined with reef. Uh, let's go investigate one to see what we can find right on the edge. Oh, check this out. Hello? Hello, coyote? Okay, Mario, it's for you. Oh well, short call I guess, that was Coyote. I never know where he is anymore. Okay, let's try this way. Ooh, I spy some razor sharp teeth in the mouth of that barracuda. But luckily for us, they rarely attack divers. See you later. Okay, now's a good time to check our air. Looks like I have just over 2,200 pounds, Mario. Plenty left, how about you? Okay, awesome. Good to go. Okay, let's go scan for something interesting around this. Man, that is cool looking. Whoa, okay. Now this is great. Do you see it? That is a yellow stingray. And yes, they do have a venomous barb, so we need to be careful here. And look, there's another one. Oh, this one's on the move. Let's try to follow it. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at how they can glide and then come to a complete stop almost instantly. Although this is a smaller species of stingray, they are still one of the most interesting animals to come across because their skeletons, like sharks, are not made of bone, but actually cartilage. Well, got a great shot there, Mario. Haha, <laughs> got that one swimming off perfectly. Boom. Well, we've seen a lot of creatures already. This shoal is really home to an abundance of marine species. Plus, let's be honest, it's quite breathtaking. All right, we've got another gray angelfish here, but we've already seen one of these. Let's look for something else. Let's go check over here. I've got a good feeling about this outcrop. Oh, look at that. We have a nice school of Atlantic porkfish passing by. 
Not sure why they're called porkfish, but that's their name. Oh, there's a cave. This is worth a look. Look at how colorful the reef gets when you're out of the direct sunlight. Way less blue. And look, you can see right through it too. Don't think I can fit through there though. Uh-oh, we're surrounded. Uh, let's just stay calm here. There are about 50 or so barracuda all around us. But the best thing to do right now is just to stay put. Uh, like I said before, barracuda rarely attack divers unprovoked. And they're known for being aggressive, for sure. One of the fastest predators out here in the reef system. But the good news is, they only seek fast and distressed prey, uh, which we are definitely not right now. But being surrounded by this many razor sharp teeth certainly gets my heart racing. Looks like Mario's doing a great job of staying calm as well. Get that shot, buddy. Okay, by the looks of things, they've accepted that we're not food, so let's carefully proceed. There they go. Wow, I did not expect for that to happen today. That is a first for me. Now how about that for some excitement on a single tank dive? Yeah. All right, time to head back to the boat. Man, what a great way to end the trip. The El Dorado Shoal was incredible. We saw everything from yellow stingrays to spiny lobsters. At one point, we were completely surrounded by a barracuda, and we even had a close encounter with the nurse shark. If you guys like these videos, make sure to tell us in the comments section below where you want us to go next. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next dive. If you like seeing us surrounded by dozens of barracuda, make sure to go check out the time I got to pet a porcupine fish in an even more unexpected marine life encounter. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell to join me and the crew on our next Blue Wilderness adventure.